My name is Marloes van den Berg. I'm Chief Sustainability Officer at Jaarbeurs. The first time that I met Dopper was uh, already approximately two years ago when the Dopper CEO presented her vision and ideas at one of the Jaarbeurs events. Well, actually at Jaarbeurs, we have the ambition of becoming the most sustainable venue in 2030. And contributing to this movement actually really supports that ambition. And not just because of CO2 emissions, but uh, also because of our uh, vitality program. I mean, drinking water is really healthy and um, yeah, it's really good for employee well-being. So in several ways, um, yeah, this is the, the, our ambition and the Dopper ambition come together. And that's why we're contributing uh, to this movement. Yeah, well, actually, um, how, do, how we cope with uh, the, 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 the number of plastic bottles is, um, since we have this ambition, uh, we also really want to go towards a net zero in 2030. So we have to take measurements. A lot of them were taken in food and food-based program at Jarbeers. And one of them is that we have excluded, as from the 1st of September, all plastic water bottles from the Congress and meeting centers, and also in all the offices. So we're supplying the employees with uh, very nice dopper bottles in a few, uh, a few days, actually. And um, the trade shows and events are coming up next year. What I would like to achieve by supporting this movement is that uh, we really want to contribute to getting to net zero quicker. And by eliminating the plastic water bottles, uh, that's already a huge step for us to take. I and mean, we have these 2.3 million visitors a year. So if we eliminate all these plastic bottles, that is, that is already a huge step. So um, actually for me, it's quite obvious. And uh, it's, uh, it's a way of uh, pushing us in that direction and easier to take a decision to eliminate the plastic bottles if we have an alternative. We haven't thought about it yet, but I can imagine that it's it's helpful to, uh, as part of this vitality program, to also educate our employees on when uh, water will be helpful and the amount of water that you have to drink each day and how you can actually use the bottle. So um, good that you mentioned it to me. So uh, we're going to look into that and not just uh, providing the bottle, but also helping uh, the employees with it. I think by educating employees, you can for sure create behavioral change because I think that a lot of employees and people in a general sense don't know about uh, how to use it, but also even don't know why there is a dopper movement and why it is so important to have these bottles instead of the plastic ones. Um, and I think that by only letting them know what the effects are of the plastic water bottles and the effects that you can create by using the other one that you are, that Dopper is providing, uh, that's already really, really helpful. 